Well, hi everybody, it's Scott Hollister with Landscape Management Magazine. A beautiful second day in Louisville, Kentucky. We're in the outdoor demo area with our friends from Yarbo. Ken Coleman is here. Ken, tell us about uh, what we're looking at here. I'm sure this is attracting plenty of attention out here today. Yeah, yeah, it's been a, been a good show so far. So this is Yarbo. Uh, it's the world's first modular yard robot. Um, modular meaning we have one main body, or what we call the Yarbo core. Uh, that's this guy here. And then we have different modules that you can attach to it. So this is our lawnmower module. We have something called a smart assist module. We have a snowblower module and a leaf blower module. Um, so a couple things about Yarbo. Um, you can see it's tracked here. We have two different kinds of tracks that you can quick release on this unit. So this is our turf track for the lawn. And then we have our snow track uh, on our snowblower. Um, they're quick release, so each side takes about five minutes and you can swap them out. A uh, couple things common to, to Yarbo. Um, one, it primarily navigates by GPS. When we don't have GPS, if we're going under a tree, then we rely on the cameras, the IMU, and the wheel odometer, how many times the wheels spin, um, to know where we are. And that's important because a lot of autonomous lawnmowers, uh, autonomous robots struggle when they lose GPS. So we can work uh, where you lose GPS under trees and things like that, which is important. A um, Couple of other things, Yarbo has cameras all the way around. So on the main body, they're heated because we don't know whether you're gonna use Yarbo with a snowblower or a lawnmower. Um, the snowblower has heated cameras as well so we can see in the snow, which is a big deal. Um, binocular cameras are in the front and the back, so they work the same way our vision does. Okay. Two cameras take the distance between each camera, and that's how it does its obstacle avoidance. So Yarbo also has something called tow mode. So tow mode actually allows you to tow anything you would tow with a universal ride-on tractor. You can tow with Yarbo up to 3,500 pounds. Wow. Um, yeah, and tow mode actually enables you to do it autonomously. So you can remote control Yarbo, you can tele-operate Yarbo from anywhere in the world and see what Yarbo sees. Um, but tow mode autonomous, actually, you could, for example, if you had a leaf sweeper, right? Um, a generic leaf sweeper that you would tow behind a lawnmower. You can tow that with Yarbo. Just tell it you're towing something that's four feet wide and you want a one foot overlap, and it'll do that, whether it's a uh, leaf sweeper, an aerator, a dethatcher, uh, any of that. The other big thing with this core, as we call it, or Yarbo's main body, is that it's modular both front and back. So last year we were only modular in the front, now we're modular in the back as well, so we can actually attach modules back there. So for example, if you wanted to keep the leaf blower hooked up in the back and the lawnmower hooked up in the front, you can do that. It's a 21 inch cutting deck, 21 inch wide, so it's one of the widest decks out there. Uh, it articulates vertically and horizontally, so it floats with the terrain. Underneath, there's actually a steel skirt all the way around the bottom, uh, so it can get up obstacles like that. It can get up uh, like pavers that are two inches high, and you don't have to, a lot of times with robotic lawnmowers, you actually have to change your yard so that they don't get stuck, right? right. So if you have pavers, you have to sink them in. With the Arbo, it'll just go over it. Tree roots, it's fine. Um, other thing, it has a soft touch bumper. So this actually works off resistance. It's not mechanical. So if you have sprinkler heads in your yard that maybe stay up and don't go all the way down, it'll just bump it and then go around. Um, it has the two binocular cameras for obstacle avoidance, a rain sensor, uh, and ultrasonic sensors. And it can go down to 1.2 inches of cut height and all the way up to four, uh, which is a pretty big deal as well. A um, Couple other little things about the core. Connectivity wise, we predominantly use GPS as mentioned before. Um, but that's actually transmitted over Wi-Fi Halo, it's called. Okay. And that gives us 32 acres of coverage. Uh, wow. And it actually allows you to stream all of the cameras back to your phone. So if you want to see Yarbo working or you want to manually control Yarbo, you can do that from anywhere in the world without a subscription service, which is pretty cool. Um, it also has stereo speakers built in. So we have something called our Smart Assist cover, and that allows um, follow me mode. So again, if you had like a cart that you had maybe a bunch of firewood in or up again, up to 3,500 pounds, it can follow you around the yard with whatever material you're towing. So you don't have to do the heavy lifting. Um, it also has, it, that also enables tow mode. And the last thing is patrol mode. So it can actually patrol your yard uh, and then it has speakers in it. So if it sees a person between your, you know, the schedule you set up, it can yeah. actually say, you know, the owner has been notified, please leave the property immediately. A photo has been taken and sent to the owner. And then you can actually have two way communication. There's microphone and speakers in here as well. Um, so that's, that's a big deal. Yeah, that's, that, that's amazing. Taking care of your yard and a little security service uh, as well. That's super cool. Yep. Uh, if folks are interested in learning more about the product and where they can get it, where, where, where should they go? Uh, Yarbo.com. Yarbo.com, great. Well, yep. Ken, thank you for your time. Um, this has been Scott Hollister uh, at Equip Expo 2024. Much more to come. Stay with us.